In our area, we've seen a large increase in the homelessness population over the past few years. Um, uh, rough numbers off the top of my head, I believe last year's count was around uh, 1,200 individuals were homeless in a county of 65,000 people. The year prior, it was more towards 800. Um, the, it's uh, created an issue where we have folks out on the streets visible, um, and we we see our neighbors out on the streets. I see between six and twelve people I went to high school with out on the streets every every week. What would you like to see happen? I, I want to see some solution that we create that is not only a housing solution but a comprehensive solution that helps people get back on their feet back into the regular scheme of life so that'll include housing but that'll also include the peripheral supports for mental health issues if those are present substance abuse issues for recovery and uh, for employment solutions which I think is an aspect that's lost a lot of the time in the discussion people get on with housing they get on with recovery they forget about employment and long-term purpose as a sustainable aspect of recovery. Homelessness, uh, you can't wrap it up in a bow and say this is what we need X, Y, and Z, but I think the ability to have the conversations about what's necessary for each community is key, and then the power to implement whatever that is. So if that's talking about additional resources, um, the state's making available to the local entities to solve those problems, to work in concert with the other communities around them. Everybody uh, across the country, I think, it's, it's um, people can't afford to, they can't afford housing. And the federal government is not doing their part. Um, they, they cut funding under Ronald Reagan and have not that made up for it since. And so we're seeing the results of failed federal policy um, everywhere, including in Portland and the other cities in Oregon.